Hey guys, today I'm gonna be showcasing all the moves besides the ultimate for the wear cost ability speeds and will blocks for Zuchu blocks. So hope you guys will enjoy this video and now let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so speeds is considered one of, if not the best, wear cost in this game. So you have a 9.9% .9 chance of getting any wear cost. So I'm going to go ahead and showcase it here. So the first move, I mean, you have to be level 5 or higher to use it. Actually, heal my stats real quick. So I have a very low power stat, 26. So yeah, the first move, you have to be level 5 and above to use it. It drains 5 stamina a second, I think, and turn on and off whenever you want to. So yeah, this move is just going to give you a damage boost. It's pretty much like all the other ores for the other abilities. So here it is, 360 view of that. Just an average ore design, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, that's the speed's ore. Um, the second move, your first attack move, it's going to be set to the all key. You have to be um, level 15 and above to use it. And um, here it is, I'm gonna go ahead and so it has a 13 second cooldown. I forgot how much stamina it uses though. So yeah, it's gonna get to about half health. And wait, does it drain stamina? I gotta see that again. Did it drain stamina or not? Oh my god, there's so many people here. Okay. I'll go ahead and use it on this dummy. Okay, I have to wait for the cooldown. There we go. It gets into half health. And you could see the stamina. I think it was 100? I'm not 100% sure. So I couldn't see it too well. But yeah, um, hopefully you guys are able to cast the stamina drain there. So yeah, 30 second cooldown has a nice AoE as well. So yeah, um, pretty nice AoE. They didn't off the wings, I'm pretty sure. But it has an, it's an AoE ability and does lots of damage. Okay, um, the third move is going to be set to the T key. You got to be level 75 and above to use it. And it also has a 13 second cooldown. So this one's going to be doing more damage than the second move. And it's also going to pull in your enemies. So I'm going to use it here. You can see. You can pull in multiple enemies. has a pretty nice range. does lots of damage as well. So very, very nice move overall. Hopefully you can see this stamina drain as well. I'll go ahead and use it one more time so you guys can catch it, hopefully. Get waiting for the cooldown. There we go. That one seems to be like 150 as well. So yeah, um, the fourth and final move besides the ultimate. I cannot showcase the ultimate as I am not level 300. The fourth and final move is going to be a stun move. It's going to be set to the Y key. It has a 150 second cooldown and I think I put it in here. May it went away. Mm. Oh, yeah, I don't see it, but I think it has a 23, no, a 22 to 23 second cooldown, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and get this guy to chase after me. Also, here are the, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys it. going to use it. You can see he's stunned, you can beat him up, and all that stuff. Very, very nice there. Pretty useful for PvP, you can pull him in, use this move, and, yeah, the speed is insanely overpowered. I think I might actually like this more than Vessel, and Vessel's an ultimate. But yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys subscribe to Two Kids in a Pod if you want some more videos like this one. So yeah, um, Speeds, if you have it, it's insanely good. Even after they know after, it's still amazing, and I honestly like it more than my Vessel. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys!